We do have some rain showers across northeastern Ohio this early afternoon, pushing in here across Minerva over to Hanoverton, Summitville, Selineville. This is moving off towards the northeast. We also had some that just moved through Fairport Harbor out over Lake Erie. Now they're kind of rotating through from southwest to northeast and then back off towards the northwest. Otherwise, not a ton on the 3D Max Doppler radar network, except some around Bailey Lake and there in Ashland County up towards Spencer. I am forecaster Brian Ivey as we take you through. Let's take a look at the downtown Cleveland skyline here for your weather forecast video. Definitely looking cloudy, some layered clouds, even some lower hanging clouds over the city. So that's pretty much what you can expect through much of the day. There will be a few breaks of sun now at a wider look on the 3D Max. Zooming on out, you could definitely make sense of a little low pressure system spinning all these clouds around the area with these rain showers. Plenty of rain across northern Indiana and there was northwestern Ohio flooding near Perrysburg and Toledo earlier. Temperatures currently 70 in Cleveland. It is 68 down in Dover, New Philadelphia. 73 Ashtabula and 66 where it's currently a light rain in uh, Youngstown and Warren as well. Let's look at the surface fronts here on our map here. High pressure has been pushing off towards the east allowing this uh, area of low pressure to develop and some of the showers and thunderstorms to kind of circulate it around. Expect multiple rounds here throughout the afternoon, tonight, and also tomorrow until our cold front moves through. It's way back here. We're going to have a warm front that pushes through late tonight, another cold front that moves through tomorrow morning, and then one late or on uh, tomorrow evening. So a couple different features will spin up some, sh some of those uh, showers and thunderstorms here in the next couple of days. And I'll show you how much rain you'll get in just a little bit. But yesterday, look at that. We're actually back to summer heat for one day. It was three degrees above average. Not too shabby though across the area with many areas seeing 84, 85 degrees. Still no rain through the day yesterday, but this is really beneficial rain because we are um, almost, well, right about three quarters of an inch below average for where we should be on the month here in August as far as rainfall does go. So the super moon was last night. And look at this great picture by John Gooding taken in Akron. A very high resolution picture of the moon zoomed in. Definitely a, a great shot there, as well as Billy Baynar from Columbiana County. I'll get out of the way and take a look at the super moon rising there. Billy got captured a pretty good picture of it coming up during the evening hours yesterday. Forecast for the day today now. Rounds of storms, as I mentioned, is pretty much going to be what you're going to see. So scattered storms around through 2 p.m., scattered storms, but a few breaks of sun as we go through the end of the afternoon and in the evening temperatures generally in the lower to mid 70s, depending on how long you can get in between rain. If you can see some sun, it will bounce up a little bit. More showers and thunderstorms here tonight. Temperatures falling back to 66 degrees. It will be a little breezy today and tonight, about 10 to 20 miles per hour, but uh, nothing really too bad. And as we look now, we did talk about a pretty decent amount of rainfall, and that does mean the potential for minor flooding, I think, if you get under one of the heavy bands for a little bit. Overall, one to two inches of rain will fall here across northeastern Ohio, a little bit less across the western portion of the state. Guess what? The dog days of summer are now somewhat officially over after today. Uh, we never really had too many dog days, just a day here and there that actually felt like true summer heat like yesterday in the middle 80s. Now let's bring on that seven day forecast. Tomorrow will not be too different than today. Temperatures will bounce up into the upper 70s though with some scattered storms around that reinforcing cold front will bring some more showers through Tuesday night and then really cool things off back into the 50s for the low Tuesday night. 72 that'll do it for Wednesday. A couple isolated storms and partly cloudy skies. Just a slight, slight chance of an isolated shower on th Thursday. Many of you will stay dry. Temperatures in the mid-70s, a decent amount of sunshine, so not too bad, but still not the summer heat you're looking forward to. Low to mid-70s, that'll do it for Friday, but plenty of sunshine. And then as we get into the weekend, we will moderate in the temperature department back to 77 on Saturday and 82 degrees on Sunday with partly cloudy skies there. Remember, the brand new renovated neoweather.com is coming out here this Wednesday evening at 8.30 p.m. Be there or be square because there's several new features that I think you're all going to like. I'm forecaster Brian Ivey. You have yourself a great day.